Hey guys, today we're gonna do something really big. And by big, I mean we're actually going to embroider on something big. Today we're gonna embroider this luggage piece. So stick around and find out exactly how I'm going to make this happen. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys that if you have any questions at all throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed yet, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so a weekender type of duffel bag like this is gonna be a little bit difficult to embroider if you don't have the right tools. Today I'm gonna to use a tool that you've probably seen me use before that is awesome for thick materials and to also get into those harder to reach areas that you probably won't be able to get into with a regular flat hoop. All right, so before we get started with the machine embroidery portion, let's start talking about the materials that we have today. So the materials are quite simple. We're going to be using our hoop tech clamps. If you guys haven't seen them yet, we do have a few episodes on them, but you're gonna see them in just a moment on the machine. Now these are really good clamps because they help um, hoop these thick materials and get into re harder to reach areas that you can't get into with these traditional hoops that your traditional hoops are going to be a lot thicker. So these are thinner. You're, I'm also going to be using my cutaway backing and this is just going to help support my stitches. What I'm going to stitch today is going to be a design with a name. It says uh, Logan and it has two little baby feet. So I envisioned this when I bought this bag to be kind of like a um, like a baby bag, maybe like a baby beach bag. I envision it being nautical because it does come with these four little bows that you tie on each end. So I kind of envision envisioning some nautical theme going on here. So let's see how it turns out on the machine. Um, of course, I have my snips, my scissors, I have temporary adhesive spray uh, to adhere the backing to the uh, fabric, and that's because I'm going to just um, slide it on into the clamps rather than having to hoop it. You guys are gonna see how easy it is in this way. Usually in my videos, I will um, hoop it, I'll hoop the clamp here so you guys can see it, um, but you can actually just have it already on the machine and just slide it in, and that's actually the easier way of doing it in my opinion. Now I also have here some pins and that's just going to be when I open up the inside of the bag. I want to fold, there's a flap in there, so I want to fold it over and pin it to make sure that I don't embroider over that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do that right now. So here I have the flap, I'm just going to fold it over. And if you want, just to get the straps out of the way, you can do the same thing with the straps. So now here, this is where I'm going to be embroidering. And um, first off, before anything, I'm going to spray some temporary adhesive spray on the cutaway and then adhere it to the fabric. So let me move my material out of the way. So if you're working with thicker duffel bags, you might want to use an 80-12 needle just because um, you don't want your regular size 75-11 needle to dull out. So you might want to use an 80-12. So in today's episode, I'm going to use a 75-11 needle because it will work fine on this type of fabric, but there are other duffel bags that are a lot um, heavier that it might not work well with. All right, so now I have covered the inside of my bag with my cutaway backing. Now I'm just going to take it on over to the machine. All right, so these here are the clamps. I've talked about them a few times before on the show. It's very easy to hoop um, materials like this and harder to reach areas with something like this. So all I have to do now is just insert the duffel bag. And I'm going to actually bring these flaps forward. Actually, first off, I'm going to bring forward my hoop so you guys can see how much space I have to hoop. And as you can see, this is just extremely easy to do. It's almost too easy. I love when having the right tools just helps you do your job so much easier. 
All right, and the good thing here is that I have that space underneath the hoop to really be able to get these large items underneath. All right, so once you get the fabric exactly where you want it, you're just going to pull down on this lever and it's going to get it nice and tight there so that the machine can do its work. All right guys, so here is the finished product. As you can see, I already went ahead and added um, the final embellishments with these little bows right here. These bows did come um, along with the duffel bag. And for those of you wondering, I did get this bag on Wholesale Accessory Market. Um, one last thing before we go, I wanted to mention if you get any puckering, um, that's something I experienced very slightly right here. If you get it cut, cut away backing is probably the best solution to this. But if you already if you do get any puckering, I recommend using some heat to help um, iron it out and just smooth it out. Also wanted to mention that I got this for about 11 to 13 dollars. Don't quote me on the exact price. Um, but it's somewhere, I know for sure it's like under $13. And um, once it's been embellished, you can more than double the price and you know, you would make 50 to 60% profit off of something like this. So something that you probably spent, I would say 15 max, including the materials, the needles, everything, you can sell for about 30 bucks and get 50% back from it. Not to mention that this took 10 minutes to make and um, you can sell them to teams. It doesn't have to be this sort of duffel bag because this is more like kind of a baby or like a beach bag. Um, but there are other duffel bags that you can go ahead and sell to sports teams. I remember when I was in Color Guard, every single year, every single season, we would always switch up our attire and we'd have um, our names embroidered on duffel bags. And today you saw how easily you can do that too. And actually it's a funny story because um, the person who used to do my uh, sports uniforms for Color Guard uh, is actually a Recoma machine user, which I ended up finding out after. But yeah, so that's a quick little story about me. So I'm actually pretty, I'm really happy with how this looks. I love how the red pops up with the light blue and the um, dark navy blue. I'm really getting some nautical vibes here. So I think maybe I'm going to embroider a sailboat or something, maybe across the end. I think right here, a sailboat would look great here. So if you guys want to see something like this, um, then let me know. All right, so there you have it. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also wanted to take the time to invite you guys to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there, you can chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. You can ask us any questions that you have or share any tips of your own. Also, before we go, I just want to remind you guys to sign up for our newsletter. I have linked it down below. You will get tips and videos email to you directly that way you will not miss a thing all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you back here next time bye